Welcome to the Old Tom Radio Superman Show. From Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham. And we've got email, uh, David writes, Hi Adam, good stuff with the Superman as always. I noted that in the last episode, you commented again about the announcer leading us to the climax one episode too early, but you missed the other repeated catchphrase. Lois Lane in the Grayson submarine and the daughter of the British science in the nitrate shipment were both faced with imminent death at the hands of enemy agents. And what did they do? You're a fiend! That's what you are! A fiend! Um, yeah, that must have been a powerfully bad insult in the 1940s, huh? <laughs> oh, you know, so you may can't, uh, you may can't some of the repetition more than I do. Uh, here's a, here's a secret. We actually record both episodes for the week on Sunday, one right after the other. Uh, and some people will download several episodes of Superman and listen to them all in a row. So, uh, you caught that and I will tip my cap to you. And you said, uh, uh, David wraps up with, see you on dry land soon. I hope. You and me both. You and me both. I'm getting seasick and I haven't even been on a boat. Um, all right. But we're going to get, we're going to get in, uh, to this and we're going to find out what's uh, what happens in the Grayson Submarine Part 5 in just a moment. But I want to encourage you, if you love this uh, uh, old uh, serial fiction, this great adventure, uh, the adventure isn't gone. It's still here in the 21st century with the magazine Laser and Sword. We are hard at work. Our uh, illustrators are hard at work on putting to bed our Issue 7. And you're going to love it when it comes out. In the meanwhile, go over to Laser and Sword Magazine uh, and check out some of the serials we've got posted. Uh, tomorrow we'll have a brand new uh, chapter in the Order of the Sword Saga. Uh, Tuesdays we have our superhero parody, Tales of the Dim Knight. And every Thursday we have uh, Adventures in a Dystopian Future with A.L. Snyder. It's the type of adventure you love your own Superman brought to you in the modern age. But uh, we, we waited long enough. Let's go ahead and get into The Grayson Submarine Part 5. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman! Look, up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Yes, it's Superman, strange visitor from the planet Krypton, who came to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman, who can leap tall buildings at a single bound, race a speeding bullet to its target, bend steel in his bare hands, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice. And now to our story. When we last saw Superman, he was streaking out to sea, making use of his amazing power of flight to find the Grayson submarine, stolen by a group of foreign agents and being sailed to a foreign port. On board the underseas craft, in addition to its captain and American crew, are Lois Lane and Perry White, editor of the Daily Planet. At the moment, Dr. Deutsch, head of the espionage gang, has submerged the submarine and is about to fire a torpedo at a passing ship just to test the submarine's firing mechanism. In the control compartment, he holds Captain Denning at gunpoint while the torpedo firing alarm bell rings through the steel hull. Now that the alarm is sounded, all I must do is press this button. The one which says, Torpedo fire, stern tube. That ship will sink like a punctured balloon. The love of mercy, Deutsch, don't do it. There are innocent people aboard that ship. People who have done you no harm whatsoever. We are wasting time. I will press the button. Deutsch! Too late! It's done! Now. <laughs> Whining like a banshee, 2,000 pounds of sudden death catapults from the stern of the submarine and cuts through the water in the direction of the doomed ship, white foam bubbling in its wake. In the all-enveloping darkness, human vision is unable to follow the path of the death-dealing torpedo. But high above the rolling ocean, the eyes of Superman can see the line of white foam trailing the steel fish. For a moment, he hangs in midair, and then, realizing that the torpedo is aimed at the ship moving slowly through the night, Superman dives with the speed of light. Landing in the water between the torpedo and its target. Here she comes. And plenty fast, too. 
It's big enough to blow that ship in half, but not big enough to... Uh, I've got you. Now to turn you upside down and send you to the bottom of the sea. So long. That torpedo must have come from the Grayson Sun. No other would fire at an American ship in these waters. You could probably pick it up better from above. No, wait. I can see its periscope dead ahead of me, heading east. I'd better follow it in the air until it comes to the surface. Up! Up! And away! I am afraid, Captain Denning, that we missed the ship and wasted a torpedo. Too bad. Either that or the kindly providence protects decent human beings from madmen like yourself. Captain, that you are wasting your breath trying to insult me. At least until the submarine lies at anchor at some port in my own country. Then, if you dare open your mouth, you will suffer for it. And order the submarine brought to the surface to see the full speed. And bring Kessler here to take the captain to his father. One of my men will be here in a moment. Remember, Captain, I have only a small group of assistants on board, but each of them is well trained. Do not attempt anything for which you might be sorry. Now, oh, that is quick. Yes, sir. Yep. You will show Captain Denning to his quarters and remain on guard outside. If he attempts anything you do not consider proper in a prisoner, you are not to kill him. Just render him helpless temporarily. You understand? Your yes, sir. Good night. Captain Denning, and you will remain here. <laughs> the good captain is not in the best of human. Kein Wunder, Herr Doctor. Speak English, Hans. If you are to be of help to me in the future, you must speak English well. Yeah, ja, Herr Doctor. It's too bad that he missed with the torpedo, eh? No, but not serious. We have the submarine. That is the most important thing. Are we on the surface yet? Ja. Yeah. Open the conning tower hatch. You will go on deck for a breath of fresh air. Up the ladder, Hans. I will follow you. Ah, the air feels good, eh, Hans? Yeah, Doctor. All the nights are like this, with the sea smooth. We will be home in six days. Yeah, in six days. Imagine, Hans. Feeling a submarine right from under the very noses. Why, it, it's unheard of. The doctor. What is it? I heard a strange wind. There's always wind on the sea. Just think of it, Hans. There will be headlines in the newspapers and they will decorate Listen, us. doctor. I hear it again. Oh, you see a wind. Well, what of it? What was that? The submarine rolls. Maybe the hatch is not passing. It's not. Why are you so nervous, Hans? And they'll be nervous until they're across the ocean. But what can happen now? Do you think these Americans are smart enough to realize what we have done? No. They are stupid. Are they? Who's there? A stupid American. <laughs> there is he. I can't see. Dead. Near your head. That gun won't do you any good, my friend. Might as well toss it overboard. Put your hands up. Don't make me laugh. Put them up or I shoot. Go ahead. <laughs> See how those bullets bounced off my chest? Well, that's how you're going to bounce right now. So, Americans are stupid, are they? Now, I'll just knock your thick skulls together for good measure. Now, you boys can't take it very well. Both are cold. Well, down the hatch, one at a time. There we are. And I think I'd better follow you and have a look around. Ah, this must be the control compartment. All these dials, gauges here. Hmm. Well, now to find Captain Denning. I'll try this steel door, see what it means. Hmm. Like a corridor, a companionway. Wait. There's a man sitting outside a closed door. Not in uniform, so he must be one of the gang. Yeah, it's a good thing that light over his head is yellow and feeble. I'll sneak up behind him. Good evening. 
Who are you? Here's my calling card. <clears throat> like that. He was probably guarding someone in his compartment. I think it's time to get rid of this cape and costume and become Clark Kent. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I haven't used Kent High Voice in so long, it sounds strange. Now, let's see who's in here. What do you want? Captain Denning? Yes. Hello, Captain Denning. Now what? Oh, I'm not one of the gang, Captain. My name is Clark Kent. I'm a reporter on the Daily Planet. Reporter? I know it must sound strange, but it's true. Here's my police card. But, but how did you get on board? We've been at sea for hours. Well, uh, I've been trailing this gang of agents. I, uh, I tracked them down to their hideout, an old house on a cliff. And when they brought this submarine into a hidden cove near the house, I knew something was wrong, so I sneaked on board. I've been lying low ever since. Kent, it's, it's amazing. How did you get by the gorilla on guard? Oh, a lucky punch fixed him. Same goes for the two who are on deck. They're, they're sleeping peacefully in the control room. You mean Dr. Deutsch and Hans? Yes, Hans is one of them. The other's heavy set with a bristling mustache. Yes, that's Dr. Deutsch. He's head of the gang. Oh. Kent, we've got to work fast. What you say is true. We can regain control of the submarine. With Deutsch, Hans, and Kessler out of commission, there are only four of the gang left. They locked most of my crew in the stern compartment. Oh. Those that are free are operating the submarine at gunpoint. I have two revolvers hidden in my locker here. I've been saving them for just such an opportunity. Here you are. Now follow me. Uh, just a minute, Captain. Before we get mixed up in anything, I'd like to know the whereabouts of two friends of mine who are being held on board. Uh, Miss Lane and Mr. White? Oh, they're locked in the stern of my crew. We'll free them later. Oh, good. Can't oh, you certainly flatten this bird on the floor? If Deutsch and Hans got the same treatment, they won't be on their feet for a long time. Come on down this dramatic way. Two of the gang are in the engine room and two more in the diving control compartment. We'll tackle the engine room first. Quiet now. Right up in here. You swing the door open and I'll cover them. Here we go. Go ahead. Open it. Drop those guns and don't move. Little boy, can't look out! They're looking for a fight, Captain. Let's go! How's this? Can't you? You knocked both of them out. Good heavens, man. How'd you dare wade through that hail of bullets where you hit? Oh, not a scratch. Let's get the other two. Well, my men here can handle them. Take the guns, boys, and let them have it. They get tough. Hi, Come on. First thing we've got to do, Kent, is radio the naval base and tell them we're on our way back at full speed. This is the happiest moment of my life, and I can thank you for it. We're going back, Kent, with the ship intact. We're going back at full speed. Done. Oh, it was nothing, Commander Leeds. Nothing but good fortune. And the uh, right hope that would make a monkey out of Joe Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all over now. We've got the submarine and the gag. Captain Denning, where is this man Deutsch? Oh, he and his first assistant Hans are being brought to the detention building by one of our men, Commander. I think I'd better join Lois and Mr. White, Commander. They're having some coffee. Commander Leeds! Commander Leeds! Yes? Commander Leeds! What is it? Those two spies. They escaped. What? Escaped? You mean Deutsch and Hans? Yes, they got away. They're gone. Well, it looks as though Commander Leeds was a little hasty when he said it was all over. If Dr. Deutsch at liberty, it isn't all over by a long shot. Someone is bound to suffer at the criminal hands of the murderous foreign agent. Deutsch is out for revenge, and the objects of his revenge are Lois, White, and Kent. What will happen, and where will he strike first? Don't forget, tune in again for the next thrilling episode with... Superman! Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. Welcome back! Um, you know, I, 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 I... There were so many things in this episode to talk about. First, there was the firing of the... Uh, the the firing of the torpedoes and I didn't know uh, that it's that it sounded like uh, that firing torpedoes sounded a lot like firing up the warp core in Star Trek or something like that um, and then we have 
Uh, then we have the, the strange decision of Clark Kent uh, to change, uh, uh, to come back into the Clark Kent guys, uh, really somewhat unexpectedly. Uh, and he, yeah, he just saved the ship. He has the thanks of the Navy. Uh, but the next time Lois Lane or has a foolhardy idea that's really a bad idea and he doesn't go along with it, Jimmy also be like, you're not a coward, are you, Mr. Kent? That seems to be the way it goes. Uh, being, uh, being Superman is a never-ending battle, uh, against evil. Being Clark Kent is a never-ending battle for basic respect. Despite a track record that would make mo- that would put most reporters to shame. Um, but, uh, now we're like, la- I, I, I love the whole t- tough guy routine. This had to be one of Superman's greatest uh, tough guy routines. Here's my calling ball card. Wham. Oh. That, that is uh, awesome. Uh, great, great stuff. And uh, we're going to find out what happened. Uh, what happened to Deutsch? Uh, we will get to, to find out in our next exciting adventure. Um I also want to encourage you, if you want to see some tough guys who uh, take on crime without the net of superpowers, then you might enjoy the great detectives of old-time radio. We are presenting five uh, great detective uh, stories, um, one, per, one per day, uh, from start to finish. I think you'll enjoy it uh, if you're into the classic radio. Uh, so go to greatdetectives.net if you'd like to subscribe to that. But from Boise, Idaho, this is your host, Adam Graham, signing off.